Use Webinar feature is a powerful and easy to handle way to connect with online audiences and engage them in a new, more persuasive way of communicating. You is a comprehensive broadcasting tool that makes grabbing and holding the attention of your viewers smooth, professional, and most importantly, effortless. There are three key functions of used webinar broadcasting. Broadcasting a live presentation, recording and editing a presentation, and scheduling and broadcasting a recorded presentation. Let's take a quick look at how to do each of these. Once you've opened your webinar, simply click on the Start Broadcast button. If you haven't already signed into or signed up for your webinar, a login pop-up will appear. Signing up will require a brief visit to the U web page. Once logged in, you can choose between a new broadcast or a scheduled broadcast. For this example, let's click on New Broadcast. From here, you can give your presentation a title, import an existing PowerPoint presentation, or simply begin presenting with just your webcam. For this tutorial, let's select Import Presentation and choose a PowerPoint file, or simply drag the slide deck into the U interface. Click on the Start Broadcast icon to begin broadcasting. You can check the total number of participants at any time from the bottom left side of your screen. As for tools, let's first take a look at the display options at the top left. From here, you can choose to only present slides, present only from your webcam, or even better, you can select picture-in-picture, -picture, which places your webcam video feed alongside your slide deck for a more engaging display. The Present Desktop feature allows you to move the audience's view of your presentation to your desktop. To access tools or go back to your slides, just mouse near the top of the screen. UWebinar also has whiteboard and annotate tools, letting you draw on a blank slide or your own slides respectively. And finally, you can click on the text chat button to create a chat dialogue. Unlike other popular live presentation products, that have chat delays of 20 to 30 seconds, U has lag-free chat delivery, making it ideal for interactive classes and webinars. After finishing your presentation, click on the Stop Broadcast button at the top left of the screen. From here, you will be asked if you would like to save the broadcast as a recording, which can be viewed on demand on the U website. Whether you're interested in creating company training videos or tutorial style courses, U is the perfect solution for making presentations that can be accessed on demand at any time. Once you have opened U Webinar, click on the Record Edit Project tab and then on Record New Project. As with Presenting Live, you will have the option to either import an existing PowerPoint presentation or simply begin presenting with just your webcam. We'll go with Import Presentation and again choose a PowerPoint file. Simply click Record to begin recording and stop when you have finished giving your presentation. Now that you have finished recording, you can either save your file for future edits by clicking on the Save button just above the Record tab, or go to the Edit Produce tab to apply quick edits and save your file in video format. If you would like to apply edits, and are unsure which slide or slides need editing, there is a preview function at the center of your screen. Mouse over the slide you wish to edit and click on the pen symbol to begin editing. You can record again or simply delete the slide. When you are finished, just click the produce button to create your video file. Now that we've both recorded and edited presentations, there is one last feature to cover the ability to continue presenting from an unfinished recording. Go to the top right of your screen and click Close to go back to the UWebinar main interface. Once again, click on Record Edit Project, but this time select Continue Previous Recording and you'll be prompted to choose from file. Select the unfinished recording and from here you have all the same functionality as before. However, if you take a look at the slides on the left-hand side of your screen, 
you will notice that all recorded slides now have an orange-red border, so you can easily see which slides you still need to record. The last key feature of uWebinar is the ability to schedule and broadcast a presentation you've recorded previously. It's an incredibly convenient way to make sure your presentations are error-free and always a success. To schedule a presentation, open uWebinar and click on the Schedule a New Broadcast link. This will send you to the uWeb page and you'll be prompted to give your broadcast a title and to schedule a time. Once you click Finish, you can see your broadcast listed further down on the page with all the details you just inputted as well as other options such as accessing the broadcast URL. With scheduling complete, you can exit your browser and open new once again. Click on the Broadcast Recorded Project tab, then select the presentation from file. Select Choose Scheduled Broadcast and either input a new title or use the title you used from scheduling. To begin, click on the Start Broadcasting button at the top of the screen. You can access your URL at any time by selecting the Invite icon at the top right. As you can see, the presentation is playing, but you can, at any time, press the Pause button at the bottom of your screen, or skip ahead slides to other points in the presentation. For even more flexibility, you can select either the webcam only or whiteboard icons at the top of the screen to automatically halt the recorded presentation and allow for live communication with the audience. This feature is particularly helpful if you have enabled the text chat icon and one of your viewers has a question about a particular slide. You can simply enable your webcam, answer the question and continue with the presentation. When you are finished, stop the presentation and within seconds your link will become an on-demand video so your audience can watch it again or refer back to specific sections of the presentation.